Unlike many sports, you don't play boxing, you box. Meet the current North American Boxing Association and North American Boxing Federation Cruiserweight Champion. Denton Daly! Dangerous Denton Daly is a 31-year-old Brampton native and a multiple barbershop owner who is undefeated in his 11 professional boxing bouts. He is currently preparing for his next fight on February 15th against experienced veteran Andres Taylor at the Hershey Center in Mississauga. It's going to be a good fight. Um, Andres Taylor, good fighter, um, former Olympian, has uh, a couple uh, American titles himself. Um, he's definitely come in a fight. He's fought a lot of top competition, uh, guys that are more credible than the guys that I've fought. So it's going to be a really, really good fight. He's definitely coming to win. He's a big talker. He'll probably get everybody uh, really excited. I just I stay silent and uh, do my thing in the ring. Professional boxing in Canada is underfunded, and as Daly's popularity rises, so does the quality of resources his competition becomes exposed to. I don't put it at the forefront and live off of that excuse. Um, I'm a two-time North American champion. I have two titles. Uh, to have these titles and be American, so to say, um, career would be propelled a lot faster, a lot further. Daly is ranked within the top 10 cruiserweights in the world by the World Boxing Association and the World Boxing Council. And if that wasn't enough, his rankings are expected to improve. Two-time world title challenger Sid Vanderpool is Daly's head coach and has witnessed the progression of his prized student. When we fought uh, Jason Douglas, and Jason Douglas has three times the experience as a amateur and as a pro that Denton had and uh, to watch Denton basically just walk right through him when a lot of people thought that Denton was going to lose that fight. I knew that he had maybe North American uh, caliber uh, uh, within him and then like I said when he fought Richard Hall who was a seasoned veteran you know did you know fought Roy Jones and that it was that caliber that's when I knew after that fight that he had uh, you know the goods to, to go all the way. Vanderpool is using his past experiences to prepare Denton for the next level of international rivalry. Next steps are February 15th uh, to fight Andre Taylor to defend one of his uh, North American titles. Uh, to win that and, and win it impressively. Uh, Andre Taylor is a guy that's only been stopped once out of I think 27 or 28 pro fights. So we want to win that fight, win it impressively so that we know as a team that we're ready to move on to the next level because he'll move into, you know, potentially the top five in the world. So all along the way, um, you know, I've been saying to Denton, you know, we're not preparing for this fight as much as I'm preparing you for world title because we're going to get there in a hurry and we won't have a chance to go back and, and relearn things. As the competition becomes more formidable, Daly is adapting by focusing his training and improving all potential weaknesses. For his last few fights, he has recruited strength coach Craig Bongelli who in only a few months has boosted Denton's strength and power. Denton's physical potential, I would say, is almost unlimited. Um, apart, from, apart from being, um, being extremely hardworking, Denton's got a massive amount to work with, just being a natural athlete. When you combine those two things, when you combine a huge amount of potential with a huge amount of work ethic, you can get quite a lot out of that. Even Denton is surprised by the results with Bongelli. When I met Craig and he did an assessment on me, uh, he realized I have a lot of potential because I have a lot of room to grow. So um, never in my wildest dreams did I think that I would uh, improve like this. For Spoke TV, I'm Adam Roshan.